everyone so this is my January favorites video these are all products that I have found and have all worked really great for me things that I would definitely repurchase if I ever ran out or I just decided that I wanted more I'm gonna start out with face this is the Maybelline dream smooth mousse and as you can see there's a lot of product. It's pretty thin right here, but it's very, very wide right here. And it really doesn't take that much product to give you great coverage. And then you put it back on to so open the top, and it comes with a little sponge. I don't really use this sponge just because I like applying it with a brush rather than a sponge. And sponges, um, keep bacteria and dirt in them. I like using my Sigma F60. It's a foundation brush. I still have a cover on it. And then for pressed powder, as far as that goes, I use the CoverGirl Smoothers. Comes in a case like that. And mine is in 710 Translucent Light. And that is the color. Pretty much the same color as far as that goes as the Dream Mousse. And then this is an eye base as well as an eye concealer. And this is the Alme Bright Eyes. Looks like that. And it's a little brush applicator. Not sure what color it is. It's set on the box. But I think it's the second to lightest color that they have. And then, as I've said before, if you guys watch my videos, you know that I have really, really bad um, under eye circles. They're not so much bags, but they're like circles. Like, I get really bad circles. And so I found this really randomly, and I decided to try it. And you guys, it's like no joke, the best thing I have ever used. It's the Garnier Nutritionist Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller. And I think they only had one color because I didn't even know if this was tinted. I didn't know anything about it. I just bought it. And surprise, it like it's tinted, but the color um, was my exact skin tone. And my boyfriend's sister actually bought one, and she's a little bit darker than me. And it worked on her skin tone too. So it's like a really universal color. I think that pretty much anyone could use it. I think they have a non-tinted one, which is just like clear. I think that's in a green tube. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. Okay, now as far as eyes go, I have found these quads by Wet n Wild. They're color icon quads. And it comes with six colors. Three matte and three shimmer shades. Shimmer shades. Um, it looks like that. This is the one in Lust really really pretty purples and I actually find that these colors are super pigmented and they just work really well there's not that much fallout so I actually ended up picking up two more and I know they have a lot more I know they had like a holiday line like a limited edition didn't get to pick up on any of those but what can you do this is my favorite 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 eyeliner liquid eyeliner that I have ever found um, I'm going to keep using it until they discontinue it. It's so cheap. I think it's only like $1.99. Two bucks for this. And it is the Jordana Fabuliner. And I love the applicator. It's a felt tip applicator. And I hate like brush applicators. I don't work with that. Um, I would usually use like a pencil brush or like an eyeliner brush, something for cream, but this is a liquid eyeliner, and it's just, it stays on really well. It's not waterproof, so when you remove it, it comes off really well, but I find that during the day, it stays. As for mascara, I have recently found this, and it is the Maybelline, the Falsies Volume Express Hydrofuge, and it is, works really well. I kid you not, you guys, I don't even have to curl my eyelashes to use this. Um, it curls my lashes for me, which is good, because I try to avoid curling my eyelashes. I don't know, I just don't really like it. For bronzer, I stay faithful to my e.l.f. golden bronzer. And 
Actually, instead of swirling the brush all around this, I only use the darkest color in the corner. And this is also the lightest color. It's really good color for like highlighting over your cheekbones. I use that a lot. I'm wearing both of them right now. Probably can't even see, but it contours your face really well. For blushes, I actually have had two favorites this month. Um, one is the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush, and this one is just in Peach Satin. It's really, really, like, soft, and it's really creamy. It goes on so well. I like to use a stipple brush to apply this, because I just find that, um, it looks better with my complexion. And that also stays on really well, even without using any kind of face primer. It doesn't, like, bleed. Okay, and the second blush that I have really been liking lately is the Physician's Formula. And this is from the Mood Booster line. It looks like that. Really cute. I love hearts, so that was adorable. And if you lift this compartment up... Aww. It has a mirror and a brush that totally just fell out. <laughs> I don't use the brush. I use like a stipple brush or a powder brush. Um, that's cute. The lipstick that I have found myself using the most in January, which has been my favorite lipstick even currently, is Revlon's. It's from their matte line. It's the 001 Nude Attitude. Comes in a tube like that. And you open it. And it's just a really simple, basic nude color. There's nothing to it, really. It's just, that's why I like it so much. Um, I find that it's a really universal color. A lot of people with totally different skin tones can wear the same lipstick, and I think that's awesome. Um, and I think it's just essential for a lipstick collection. Everyone needs a nude color. I think it's just pretty basic. Okay, you guys, so that was my January favorites video. I hoped you guys liked it, and I hope it helped you for purchases this month and any month to come. Bye.